It's time to learn about the hidden science in our lives. Today's topic, plasma. In general, there are three known states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. As an example, let us consider the water that we drink on a daily basis. Frozen water or ice is at a solid state. When heat is applied to ice, it melts to become liquid water. And when heat is continuously applied, liquid water evaporates and turns into gaseous water vapor. Now, what would happen if we do not stop there? What if we keep adding heat and energy? At a certain point, among the electrons and nuclei that make up the atoms of the given matter, the electrons that have absorbed heat and energy are displaced from the atoms themselves. This eventually leads to a state in which the nucleus and electrons become separated. This phenomenon is referred to as ionization, or we call it the fourth state of matter, the plasma. Through this explanation alone, it might seem as though plasma is a state of matter that has very little to do with us. However, when looked at from the wider perspective of the universe, about 99.9% .9 of the materials that make up the universe are made of plasma. In fact, the Earth's appearance, which consists only of liquid, solid, and gaseous state, is a strangely rare case in the context of universe. Most plasmas emit some of their absorbed energy in the form of light, which means they can be discovered indirectly by looking at such light. The lights we can observe in our daily lives, light from lightning, fluorescent lamps, and neon signs, are all examples of light from plasma. Indeed, plasma is surprisingly all around us. To understand plasma in a little more detail, it is important to understand the phenomenon of ionization, the process through which atoms split into atomic nuclei and electrons. If we forcibly separate friends or lovers who have always been close to each other, it leads to anger and instability. The ionization is like forcibly removing the nucleus and electrons, which are tightly attached to each other, from neutral molecules or atoms. It results in a chemically unstable state, which is also a high-energy state. Plasma in this unstable and high-energy state causes a somewhat magical phenomenon. Normally, when matter is in a normal state, the compound is stabilized. Thus, in order for a chemical change to occur, activation energy that exceeds a specific activation barrier is required. However, the unstable state of plasma that is, the excess energy that plasma already possesses, plays the role of this activation energy, facilitating chemical reactions or physical changes that are normally difficult to occur. Although there are various types of plasma, it can be largely divided into high-temperature plasma and low-temperature plasma. High-temperature plasma, which reaches about millions to tens of millions of degrees Celsius, is typically studied in forms of nuclear fusion energy, such as the artificial sun. Today, this form of plasma is attracting attention as a new eco-friendly energy source for the future. On the other hand, low-temperature plasma, which is ranging from a room temperature to about tens of thousands of degrees Celsius, has the advantage of being able to easily induce physical and chemical reactions, even at relatively low temperatures. As such, it is typically used in semiconductors, electronic device manufacturing, and devices that can remove air pollutants or odors. Also, in creating the lightsabers from movies, rocket propulsion, welding, lighting, and in the city waste disposal, low temperature plasma is being used like a jack of all trades. These are just some examples of how plasma is being applied in various areas of our lives, and the importance of plasma is on the rise. Since plasma has infinite possibilities, it is considered as a promising future technology with the prospect of opening up a new era for mankind. In particular, keep in mind that active research on plasma is being conducted at various research institutes, including the Department of Plasma Engineering at the Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials.